I got to number one. An entire world in Clash Royale with this absolutely incredible Cannonier Fool by One Elixir Minor Poison Control deck. We're starting off today's video here against Haze, and this deck is absolutely incredible. Guards are now surviving. Actually, arrows also do like more damage um, with the Barbarian Bro, like tanking and um, one more Barbarian Bro shot. So, Barbarian Bro isn't even able to kill the shield anymore from the guards. So, overall, the guards are just like such a solid card overall. And just also love for having Queen back in. In the deck, in the meta game, I just love Queen, and Queen is so, so good. So the nice thing about the Kenny is, of course, you're strong against Psycho decks, but overall against Pino decks, you're doing way better. Normally, Lava is a difficult matchup, not anymore. Normally, Golem is a difficult matchup, not anymore. These are kind of matchups I'm just winning, because I now got the Kenny near there. So he goes in for the aggressive lightning. I'm just going to go aggressive for Mortar. A matchup like Royal Giant get way, way easier. So he goes in for the Golden Knight, okay. This might be like a free Knight. Exactly, so I'm just going to go for my Knight here. He goes in for the ball. I'm just gonna go Miner there. Really good Miner. Just gonna try to get some chip damage. I think the Mortar gets another shot there. So we are up on damage. You kind of always need to consider, right? We always need to get like 700 damage early on to kind of just even up the game. Because the Kalenia has less um, HP compared to the Prince's Tower. Like 700 less on level 14, 15 tournaments then and so on. So I'm just gonna go for another Mortar there. Because I can, right? Like, if he goes on opposite lane, it's completely fine. I can just go Knight here, and the Kennedy will just will shred everything. I'm just gonna go for my Log. I still think it's E-Giant somehow. He goes in for a Lightning. I'm just gonna go Miner instantly at free Elixir. Um, because I know he doesn't have anything in Cycle, or he has something in Cycle, but he doesn't know what a safe spot is. So we currently in League 7. We're playing on my mini account. As I said, I got to number 1 in the world on my main account. I'm also currently still on 100% win rate. So... This might be 1% win rate journey. I'm just gonna go for my Archer Queen there. So what is his mission now? I'm just gonna go in for my Ice Bird, I think. And I would love to go Mortar there because I know he's still low on Elixir. So I'm just gonna use my ability instant there. Really good ability. I'm just gonna go for my guards then. This will be like a ton of damage on Toki. Good Barbarian Ball though, but as you guys can see, Barbarian Ball, the guards are gonna tank one more shot. I'm just gonna go for a Miner on the back here. Mine is coming down. Maybe we're able to tank for one of these goblins. And this is exactly what we want. This is crazy. Also, you kinda need to consider you can't activate Kingdom anymore against Firecracker because Firecracker Prince is um like Prince okay, Prince is a bad example because she's like at the she's on her outrange the cannon here. But also, like, um, an example, like, archers, all of them are getting one shot. Also, Hunter, you don't need to defend anymore. Hunter gets two shot and will be dead anyway. So, I'm just going to go for a Miner there. As yes, you guys can see, look at the damage we're getting here. This is crazy. Like, just the cannon here alone shreds everything. So, I'm just going to go for this here. I'm just going to go for my guards there. Miners on the tower. I'm just going to go for my lock there. Game is over. GG's. Well played. And, yeah, nothing they can do. Can you just absolutely shred speed on cards? Next up here versus triple stacks. I'm just gonna go for my knight there. And I think I'm just gonna go minor here on the safe spot. So let's see. So we're playing against Night Witch Goblin Gang. This might be something interesting. So normally you could think about Golem, and of course, against Golem does pretty well against, but against these type of bats, we're struggling, of course, with the cannon here. So I'm just gonna go for a poison here. And we go for the log. And as you guys can see here, this is like. Compared to Prince Tower is absolutely incredible. Yes, we're still taking death damage and also like an explosion there. But also like, look at the guards though. They're just so tanky. And we still get all of them on offense. Of course, he's going to snipe this now. He goes in for arrows. That's completely fine. I I mean, I'm just going to go for my Ice Bird there. Really good Ice Bird. Now I just need to make sure to get the good guards timing. Just going to go guards now. Perfect guards. He's going to be able to get one chip shot, but I can just go also supposed for minor. Let's see. Is he going to go for a gang? He is going to go for the gang. We might get one guard on tower. We do. I can just go now for my lock here, and I got another mortar in hand. So, okay. So far, so good. Interesting deck, of course, by an opponent there. He plays Golem, Goblin Gang, Night Witch. Really annoying. We always want to make sure to kind of lock and um, poison the Night Witch because if the bats are going to survive, if the bats are going to get value and getting something tanked for, we're struggling. So I'm just going to go for my Arch Queen in the back. He might go in for Lightning, which is honestly fine, right? Because that means he can't play Golem in front of me. He still goes in Golem. Okay, I'm just going to go for my Poison there. And I almost just want to go lock it because I really want to kill the Night Witch. He goes in for arrows. This is fine. I'm just going to go for lock it. Good lock. Everything is going to die. And this might be a free... Free... Mort. I would like to go Mort and then just use my ability. So I'm just going to use my ability now. Really good ability. Let's go. And I'm just going to go use my guards there. Also using my Ice Bird. 
And the mortar is locked on a tower. I'm just gonna go for my lock here. Okay, what the heck is he gonna do now? That's so much there. I'm just gonna go instantly for my night high. If he goes in night, which I'm just gonna go poison. Okay, poison's coming down. I think I don't I don't even think I need my next mortar here because we got such a great defense. Okay, I just go for a lock here. And look at this interaction. This interaction change was huge with the recent Clash Royale update. I'm just gonna go for a mortar there. Kennedy will make sure to kill the Golemites. He also goes for a clone! What the heck, dude? But Goms is gonna come down. We need one shot on the tower. We don't get the shot, but I can just go for my arch screen here. Hi. Actually, left hand side was well, help. I'm just gonna go for my miner here in the game. Should be over. I'm just gonna go lock here. We know it's over. He knows it's over. GG's well played. Dude, it feels so good now to have a good matchup against Golden. Even was really hard before then. Because it's really hard to get damage at the same time defending. But like with the help of the cannon here, it's way, way easier. So next game here was a super poo cam and he got his lava hound in his banner. So there might be a lava possibility, which normally if you could think it's a bad match, right? You can't really cycle Arch Queen, but with the help of the cannon here, you're doing really, really well because most lava on decks they don't really have any type of spam besides the tombstone. But he's playing Goblin Cage, Flying Machine, so it could be Warthogs, but I'm still gonna think it's most likely gonna be. A lava on deck. So I'm just gonna go for my lock there. I think it's overall a good decision. Of course, the cannon here does so well against it. No, it's gonna be hoggies. Okay, so let's see. So Zeppi's take two shots from my tower. Okay, that's a really aggressive play. So look at this. The Zeppies are actually one shot, so I can just go aggressive through for my mortar there. He's still forced to play something else. If he goes for a flying machine on the left hand side, okay, we goes for Varian, but I'm just gonna go try to block this with guards. We didn't make it, but we didn't make it, but we can just go now for my miner here in front of the guards. I think the mortar gets another shot. Is arrows out of hand. Arrows, as I say, was saying earlier, it's not gonna even be able to kill any more the guards. So guards just feel like so good on defense, but also so good on offense, right? Because normally when you go like guards, you, if you went like guards on top of like a giant example, the opponent could have just arrowed them away with giant graveyard, but this is not um, possible anymore. The same goes for like arrows, um, graveyard decks, that they can't really kill them anymore. So you kind of always need to overcommit. You don't get a positive, like, uh, tra positive elixir trade anymore against guards, which is of course is massive. I'm just going for my arch queen there. So... Archer Queen's coming down. I'm just going for my guards here once again to tank. He might go for arrows. But as I said, it's completely fine. So I'm just going to go Ice Spirit there. Using my ability plus possible second to make sure our mortar stays alive. I'm also going to go for another miner there because we're at least forcing out my Bam Barrel. But even if he's going to go for the Bam Barrel, we still get so much chip shot from the miner there. And we do an overall a really great job. This time I might just go for my mortar there. Hmm, because I feel like this mortar might be a good play. Evolution mortar is something I normally want to always play on offense, especially in this type of matchup. Of course, if, if you're playing against the Giant and so on, you kind of want to save on defense. But I just like going in aggressive with my evolution mortar. Yes, I'm just going to go for my poison. I'm also going to go for my ice spirit. Good defense overall, I would say. And we might get a connection here with a bit of luck. Do it! No, okay, I'm just gonna go for another mortar. I can just go for a guard there. There's no way he's gonna be able to kill the guards. As I said, he arrows won't kill them. And as you guys can see, he didn't know that. And now I can just go for my ice boot here. Mine is coming down. If he goes in for a flying machine, I'm just gonna block this with a knight. We don't even need to. GG's well played. Nothing they can do. And normally we could think, okay, that could be tough, right? Flying machine can be knowing you just have poison, you don't have a fireball, you don't have like any splash damage with the Valkyrie, just got like a knight. But this is a free matchup. And I can tell you guys the cannon here does so well against Zeppies, does so well against World Recruits when his shield is off at the same time, good against piggies, and especially great against the flying machine. So guys, next game up here was Frank Chisco. So we're just gonna give to Glock. He once again goes in for Recruits in the back. So it might be Royal Recruits, Royal Hawks again, might be the different variation might be with the balloon might be i don't know you can never you will never really really know what the opponent is going to go for so we're just going to go in for guards high there just to distract everything but as i said like mortar plus tower tube with the cannon is absolutely incredible so i'm just going to go for my archer queen there the great thing is like one mortar shot on top of the um okay on top of the LP is gonna kill them. Same goes for like a lock. I feel like lock and cannon overall, like one um, lock shot or like one lock on top of a tube and a cannon is one shot of that. Just like it's so massive. It's gonna like, it's like really one of the best combinations in the game because it's gonna kill so much. The exempt LP, you're just gonna go lock that and then the cannon is gonna one shot them. Same goes into Zeppies and so on. So we're just gonna use my ability there. Also, with the Arch Queen, you just need to lock um, the Arch Queen and then you're just gonna go and. For the cannon here, you need two shots of them and it's gonna be dead. So I'm just gonna go for my guards there. 
No, I'm just gonna go for my log. So as you guys can see, normally it would be like two shots, right? But this time it won't be any shot because of just Ice Bird and the Cannoneer will be just absolutely incredible. So it's interesting to see that our opponent also plays the Cannoneer. I just hope he bought the offer with Crater Good Morton to support me at least. Um, and not to support Supercell too much, even we're all supporting Supercell, um, of course. Um, so we're just gonna go Poison on top of the LP there. So the question is, what is he gonna do next? We might just go in for my Mortar, no. He goes in for a really, really, really weird ability. I can just go for my lock now. So the... Okay, man, like this interaction is like so massive. People still don't know about that, that the guards are not gonna survive. So we get way more counter push potential. Normally guards are like a mainly defensive card, but after the update, you can always use them on offense as we're seeing there. So I'm just gonna go for my knight here. And of course, can you also use the stack without a cannon here? Of course you can. The stack is also really, really strong. As I said, in some matches it's worse and some it's better. And you can also use the knight evolution. I just personally feel like if you play a mortar deck and you got a mortar evolution, you always wanna go for the mortar evolution because like your main kind of win condition, right? So. I always prefer like having the mortar as a really main wing condition compared to, for example, the knight, which isn't a main wing condition. So I'm just going for even mortar high here. A ton of tankage. He goes in for hours. He's not going to have enough elixir to do anything, so we can just go in for this. I'm also going to go poison there to just hit the guard. So I'm just going to go ice boot here. Perfect timing. Ice boot will completely kill the balloon with the help of the freeze here. And now I can just basically go in. For another guard, so I'm just gonna go for a lock here, mine on the back. The game is over, GG's well played. I hope you got your today's video. This is the deck I used to get number one in the world life with. And yeah, make sure to subscribe to the channel, check out more of the other videos out. I'm gonna be out. See you guys tomorrow. There will be, by the way, a live stream on this channel. I would say I'm out. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Goodbye.